All right, guys, so this video is for those of you that might need that little bit of extra help when it comes to GCSE or A-level chemistry, all right? So maybe you are one of these three, maybe you're getting absolutely cooked in your past paper questions, your marks, your homework, whatever it may be, or maybe you're retaking your exams and you're just not getting the attention from your teachers or you're just struggling to understand concepts and know what to do, I'm here to help you, all right, with some one-to-one -one tuition. So we're gonna transform you from this into some absolute Michelin star chefs in chemistry. Okay, so let's let's get into this. So who am I? My name is Jack, a little bit about myself. So as you can see here, guys, it got to around January, February time in my, in year 13, right? And I did my mocks and I got an E in my mocks, guys. I was the king of procrastination. I left everything last minute. I wasn't doing really any work at all. I was trying here and there, but it just wasn't working out, okay? I hustled. I grinded and in less than five months when I got my real result, I ended up with an A in chemistry, okay? Now, I also did biology and maths, but this video is gonna be focused on chemistry tuition, okay? From my A levels, I got five unconditional offers to my uni choices and this was for chemistry, okay? I did my first year in chemistry and then actually transitioned in second and third year to biochem, which is what I graduated in with a first class with honors. Here are some of my modules as proof. Not playing around, guys. 70% is a first class in the UK. 91, 79, 92%, 82, 79. I know what I'm talking about. And the, the truth is, I actually learned so much more in uni about how to properly study and how to approach exams than I ever knew in A-levels. I've come so much further, okay? Out of uni, worked in biotech. Didn't really like that, not gonna lie. I switched it up to a data analyst for a couple years. And now I've decided to go into tutoring and YouTube hopefully full time this year. I just enjoy it a lot more. I enjoy helping students get the grades they need. And just, it's almost like a game of hate for me. Like I hate the exam system. Maybe hate isn't the right word, but I just, it's just so annoying, okay? And the, the way that teachers don't properly approach the exam system from my perspective is why I do this, okay? From there, I have multiple years of experience tutoring students in order to get the B to A star. B is the lowest grade any of my students have got in order to secure their uni spot, okay? One thing I will say, it's not a magic wand, guys. My tutoring is not a magic wand. I can't just wave it and you get an A star. You honestly do need to put the work in. You just get that little bit of extra attention, direction, focus, and understanding that you may not get from YouTube videos when you don't get to ask proper questions or from your teachers or something like that, okay? So if you are interested in tutoring at this point, Click the link down below in the description or the pinned comment. Get all the information you need, the price, book a free introductory call with myself and see if we're a good fit. If you want some more information, let's jump into this and we'll look at a little bit more into my philosophy around exams for GCSE and A-levels. So if you've watched any of my videos, right, you've probably heard me throw this phrase around a little bit. Exams are a game, okay? So you see all these games around here, Elden Ring, chess, poker, league, whatever game it is, right? Whether it's a video game, board game, it doesn't matter. They have specific rules that were written, designed by humans in order to play the game properly, okay? And this is what I refer to as the specification, mark scheme, and examiner's report of exams, right? So let's say you do Edexcel, A-level chem, OCR, A-level biology, whatever it may be, right? You go to that exam board's website, you find your specification that will give you every single thing you need to know about the different exams that you're gonna be doing, what is contained within those exams and what they can test you on. That is the rules to the game, plain and simple. You also have the mark scheme. Okay, the mark scheme is gonna tell you even more details around what is accepted to, in order to get certain marks, what is not accepted, and the ideal methods that the exam boards want you to want to see from you in order to solve those questions or just recall and regurgitate the answers onto the page. Okay, so that is the exam rule set. Also, how do you expect to be a grandmaster in chess or really high rank in league or whatever game you're playing? Essentially, how do you expect to be high skilled in a certain game if you don't practice the game? And that is the next thing is you need to practice past paper questions, okay? A past paper is the real game. It was just the real game in a previous year or the year before that or the year before that, okay? It's exactly the same game that you're gonna be playing this year. It's just a previous student did it, okay? So you need to do those past papers and actually play the game. You can't expect to be good at a game if you don't play it, 
All right, same for sport. Whatever game it is, you can't be good at it if you just sit and read books all day. You need to actually apply that knowledge and play the game. Okay, so that's my philosophy there. Next up, what do you get from your lessons with me? Okay, so let's break this down. If you're familiar with my channel, you may have seen my high yield topic analysis videos, right? Where I've spent hundreds, yeah, hundreds. I know it's it's really sad to say out loud. Hundreds of hours analyzing past papers so you don't have to, okay? I've done it for chemistry, biology, and maths, AQA, OCR, Ed, Excel. I know what's going on. I am incredibly confident when it comes to past papers. Okay, I know them like the back of my hand, all right? So what I'm gonna focus on in my lessons that I feel like sets me apart a little bit from other tutors is gonna be past paper questions primarily. Okay, I know a bunch of tutors do this, but that is where a lot of my focus is gonna be. It's not just gonna be me putting a PowerPoint slide on the board and dryly going through it, teaching you stuff you've probably already covered in class. It's gonna be application of your knowledge to past paper questions. I'm gonna show you how to do them step by step. And then once you do them, right, it's gonna be all on Zoom. And then after our lesson, I'm gonna send, send you a blank workbook to fill in yourself, okay? So you're gonna go through and you're gonna attempt all of the past paper questions that I send you broken down by topic, okay? And then along with the blank version, I'm going to send you one that has the mark scheme and my written work solutions as well. So even when you're not in the lesson, you can go to that document and say, oh, what did Jack do? I don't really know how to solve this question. And it will be laid out step by step for you to solve. So you know what to do next time. All right. So from there, we are also going to have a detailed schedule breakdown. All right. So this is an example for AQA where you have the year, the chemistry type and the topic and also just the weeks across the topic. Okay, so by default, you're gonna have one lesson a week, right? Lessons have already started. I've got a few students that have started in September already, and then you can go from there. Let's say you wanna start with atomic structure. Okay, the, one of the fundamental topics you need to master before you move on to more complicated ones. Or maybe you really struggle with organics, or you, you just don't have a clue what's going on for the required practicals. Okay, we mark down what you've covered and when, and you can also leave little notes about how you found that topic, how difficult you found it, etc. And we'll also feed the worked um, past paper questions into that so we can revisit stuff in the future if you're just really struggling with a certain topic. Okay. From there, every four weeks, guys, you're going to be filling this out yourself. Okay, obviously, we'll do it in the lesson, but I'm going to ask you to fill it out yourself. So you have your first lesson, fourth lesson, eighth lesson, twelfth lesson, etc. Right? And it's going to have your current grade, whether that may be from a mock, or maybe you're in year 12, and you haven't done a mock yet, and you've just been doing some past papers, or, or you just, this is my estimated grade. Okay, that's what you'll chuck in there. Let's say it was a D. Then you'll have your goal grade. This is what you're going for. This is what you need to secure that uni choice, right? And that is what we have a plan. Okay, this is our plan on the screen of what we're going for. And we can see our progression week by week. Outside of the grade, we have these different domains of chemistry that are just made up, to be honest. But they're the different elements that come up within the game of chemistry, right? So this one right here is just like the overarching umbrella for chemistry. You're just overall confidence and ability and understanding. Then you have things like maths, calculations, practical skills. MCQs or multiple choice, six mark level of response, application of knowledge, etc. Okay, so all of these, I'm gonna get you to rate yourself, okay? From a scale of one to five, okay? From a one is like, I'm getting absolutely destroyed, getting absolutely cooked, I don't know what's going on. And then five is just, oh my God, I'm a chemistry God. I have so much confidence when it comes up to answering the questions in the real exam, okay? And you're gonna see this progress every four weeks. I do it every four weeks because you can't really see your improvement week by week across every domain like this. You're going to see it when you do your past paper assignment. So obviously this will be sent for you to do outside of my lesson. Okay, so you're going to be able to see that. And then what I'll do is I'll compile this as well as some notes from our lessons into a four weekly. So every month you're, you and your parents will receive a written report just of your progress, where you are, what your weaknesses are. And that's where it comes into my last point for this video, which is gonna be your strengths and weaknesses. Okay, so your ego naturally wants to avoid your weaknesses. It's like, no, let's just, let's just do what I've, I'm good at, okay? Let's focus on the strengths, which is really good to do in the real world. But when it comes onto exams, you wanna focus on your weaknesses, and that is gonna give you the fastest improvement when it comes to your grade, okay? So we're gonna identify your weaknesses from your past paper question workbooks and from your, your rating system where you rate yourself. I'm going to be able to apply that week after week and get that dream grade for your uni application, right? 
So if you are interested in the tutoring, guys, click the link in the description and the pinned comment down below. It's going to have any information you need and the price. And you can also book your free introductory call. Try and make sure one of your parents is there just to ask any questions that they may have. So you have everything you need before our lesson. If you don't want tutoring, completely fine, guys. You can definitely do this on your own. Just have to work so much harder. I've done it myself. I didn't get tutored for A-level and I came out with an A. So you can definitely do it. So don't give up. If you can't afford it or if you just don't want to choose and you want to do it yourself, it can definitely be done, guys. With that said, guys, I'm going to be posting so much more on this channel this year. Best of luck with your upcoming exams, guys. Peace.